Good evening. By request, this is a video about the essentials for a stick bag or a mallet bag for a percussionist who is somewhere between their first and sixth-ish year of studies, um, which is to say junior high school or high school. And we'll talk about the various options. Um, I was asked to do this video by Dale Chapman, who is a pianist and a trumpet player, as well as the director of instrumental music at Archbishop McDonald High School in Edmonton. And just for fun, I'm wearing the uh, shirt from the Vic Lewis Music Festival, which is where Dale and I first met. Anyway, here we are with a bunch of mallets. It's not quite as daunting as it looks because there are actually multiple choices. Um, we're going to go from hardest to softest today for fun, since I usually go from softest to hardest. Basically, you want this, you don't really need this, you want either this or this, either this or this, either this or this, definitely this, definitely this, definitely something like this, and definitely something like this. But uh, we're going to do that in a little more detail so that it's more helpful for you. Snare drum sticks. Um, if uh, the player is young and has small hands, I would recommend probably going with a 7A. If their hands are a little bit bigger, I'd recommend a 5A. This is sort of the equivalent of a 5A. This is the Vic Firth Dave Weckl series. Um, generally, I'd recommend Vic Firth sticks. If you go with really cheap sticks, you're going to be paying seven to eight dollars a pair. For Vic Firth, you're paying between fourteen and sixteen dollars a pair. The two advantages are one, they last about five times as long, and two, they're actually pitched paired, which is to say, if you listen, then um, they're exactly the same pitch as one another, which means it's exactly the same amount of physical material uh, in from one stick to the other, which means that it lends itself to playing symmetrically. So that's a really good thing. I'd recommend Vic Firth in general, but if you're looking for something a little more uh, economical, try Los Cabos. They are a Canadian brand, and uh, you can go with that. Moving on, brass mallets. Nobody needs brass mallets in, uh, in, a, in a novice or intermediary environment. Um, they are very, very hard, and oftentimes composers will actually tell you to use brass mallets on a glockenspiel to play loudly. You don't need to do that. You should not ever use them to play loudly because you will actually damage your hearing. The player will damage their hearing. So this is something that you can keep in the percussion section as a communal set of mallets, but that the player doesn't actually need to own a set of at all. So we'll leave those there. Hardest mallets, and uh, often mallets are sold as xylophone mallets or as glockenspiel mallets. That doesn't really matter. What matters is the hardness. So from the hardest set of mallets, what I have here is a high-end set and a more student level set. The high-end set is an innovative percussion model 905. The student model set is a Torque TU44. Uh, they're about the same hardness as one another. They're uh, acrylic. They're good for glockenspiel and crotales only. Glockenspiel is also known as orchestra bells. So, one of those two is fine. Moving on, plastic. Um, these are good as a soft glockenspiel or soft crotale solution, as well as a medium slash hard xylophone solution. This is a high-end set, this is a low-end set, uh, which is still going to sound fine for novice and intermediate environments. So this is Innovative Percussion Model 902, and these are Mike Balter Basics Model BB7. One of those two will be fine. Moving on to a rubber slash latex solution. Um, these will be good as a soft xylophone solution, or as a wood block solution, or as a hard marimba solution, or as a hard vibraphone solution. If you want to go with the student model, it's a Torque TU40. If you want to go with something a little bit higher end, my preference is Musser M-2. And once again, good for wood block, good for hard vibraphone, hard marimba, or soft xylophone. Moving on. We have um, some vibraphone mallets. These are the St. John's Music brand. They're fine. They sound almost just as good as Malatech, which is great. Uh, so you can use those as a, as a medium marimba solution or a medium soft vibraphone solution or a hard suspended cymbal solution. Moving on, these are Innovative Percussion Soloist Series IP200 models. They're medium soft yarn. Perfect for suspended cymbal, perfect for soft marimba, and for very soft vibraphone you can always contact a music store and ask them for the equivalent of this. And um, they can give you something that's a student model that's an equivalent, either made by Mike Balter or by Torque or a company like that. And last but not least, timpani mallets. So I don't actually have any, um, any sort of lower end model timpani mallets, but I'll give you the equivalents. These are Malatech Hanger Touch Tone Green, which are a good soft solution. 
The equivalent would be Vic Firth T1 General. These are um, Malatech Hanger Touch Tone Red, which is a good harder solution. The equivalent in a student mallet would be Vic Firth T3 Staccato. The main concern about timpani mallets is keeping them in good shape. The only thing they should ever touch is the head of the timpani mallet, or sorry, the head of the timpani drum, and that's it. So the main two things that make that um, that uh, wear them out are either one, the oil from human skin wearing them out, or two, them touching things, other things that they should not touch, like rubbing against other mallets, rubbing against hacked up snare drum sticks in the mallet bag, or landing on the floor. So one of the main things you have to take into consideration is how to preserve your timpani mounts. So what I have here are two plastic shopping bags from a grocery store and this is what you do. Stick one mallet in, stick the other mallet in like this and then twist them around like that so that they're isolated from one another and from everything else around them and they will literally last for 20 years easily. So one mallet in there, one mallet in there, and twist them around a bunch of times and then they can go in your mallet bag. Regarding a bag, this is a Levy's small mallet bag. It's uh, it's still pretty large. This is the one that I take to uh, when I go teach. This is the one that I take with me. You can get smaller ones and uh, you don't actually need one this large. You can see this one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pockets in it. Uh, and you simply just take your mallets and you slide them into the pockets and then you zip it off, zip it up, and head off to wherever you're going, rehearsal, show, anything like that. Thanks very much. Have a good day.